Hi guys, it's Laura. Today I am answering one of the suggestions um, I asked on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash story what I should do my next video on. I have a couple topics that I really want to talk about, but I figured, you know, why not ask you guys what you want to watch. So, um, one of the suggestions is how to tell people in a way that doesn't make you sound ashamed that you have an ostomy. So I actually did just um, talk to someone, I texted back and forth with a couple of you, um, and someone asked me if I could help her figure out how to tell this guy that she had an ostomy. And so here's generally how I do it with people who are new friends, family members that may not know about it, new like love interests, that kind of stuff. So I pretty much have the same format for everyone. Um, I think that it's a really good idea to come up with a format for telling someone that you're comfortable with. So if this doesn't, this is what I say and this is what works for me, but if you want to throw in something else in your spiel, I guess we could call it, then absolutely go for it. So generally how I tell people about my illness, um, it just comes up in conversation when I'm out to eat with someone or if I'm eating with someone. So. I still do not eat fruits with skins or raw vegetables or a lot of things, and so my diet is pretty restricted and people take notice. Um, and so they usually ask me like, oh, are you allergic to salad or like, and I'm just go briefly into like, no, I have this um, disease that attacks my intestinal tract and I don't have a colon anymore, so it's really hard for me to digest. And so I leave it at that for that for that amount of time, and I just let that sink in. And if they want to ask questions, then go ahead and answer any question honestly to like the level of your comfort. But um, usually, someone's like, "Oh, wow, that's really interesting," and then we kind of continue with our conversation that we were having prior to that. So that kind of plants that seed of like, "Oh, well, I have this disease, and now I don't have a large intestine." And so when I feel comfortable with someone, or when I feel like I want to tell someone about my ostomy, um, usually what I do is you know, bring it up like, hey, remember how I told you that I had this really difficult surgery a while back because of my disease that attacks my large intestine, my small intestine, whatever you have. Um, and then I just say, well, you know, I was really sick before my surgery and my surgery has given me so much. It's given me my life back. And it's also given me an ostomy bag. Do you know what that is? And some people say yes, and some people say no. And if they say no, then I just describe it as, well, since I don't have a large intestine, while well, everything heals, they had to take my small intestine and poke it out a hole in my abdomen so I have an external bag for the while. Or if you have it permanently, just say, so I have an external bag. Um, so, and I want to say something really quickly that I think is really important about the way I phrase it. So I say, you know, this ileostomy, this ostomy has given me my life back, or, or this surgery has given me like my life back, and it's given me a bag. Not but it's given me a bag, because that kind of brings it to like this negative light. Saying but is like, well, it did really good things for me, but this is what happened. So you want to say, and it gave me a bag. And so it just kind of continues with that positive vibe. Um, because like I've talked about a lot, the more comfortable you seem with your ostomy, more likely the more comfortable that person, whoever you're telling, will be about you having it as well. Because they see that you're still, you know, okay, and that you're healthier now, and that you are, you know, living your life to the fullest. That you can. So that's pretty much my like formula for telling people. Usually food comes up. I tell them about my immune autoimmune disease and the fact that I had surgery. I kind of leave it at that. And then later when I want them to know about my ileostomy, that's what I say. And if they ask questions, I answer honestly. And, and if they say something, I mean, I've never gotten a question from my friends or family or anyone in my life that has been like rude or shocking so but if they ask a question you're not comfortable answering just say well you know I don't really feel comfortable answering that and then just kind of like go into something else so it's not like this awkward like I don't feel comfortable answering that
like you can hear the crickets afterwards. No. So um, I usually just, I don't know, that's how I approach it. And it has worked really well for me. I have had like one bad reaction ever um, in the past two years, almost two years, I guess. I shouldn't wait. I got it December of 2011. Yeah, so um, so almost two years. But anyways, that is my formula. If you guys, you know, have any suggestions to people, then post below. Let me know how you do it. Um, and I hope this was helpful and makes you feel more comfortable with telling your loved ones what's kind of going on with you. You don't have to tell everyone in your life. You don't have to, you know, tell people who you're not comfortable with. I personally, I mean, a lot of people know about this just because of me being really open and wanting to be an advocate. But um, really, at the beginning, I told three of my closest friends and my parents and my grandma. And that was it for a while. And then I kind of like slowly built up the confidence to talk about it. So um, start small and I really wish you guys good luck. If you are deciding to tell someone new in your life about it, really just frame it as like this is a great thing because it allowed me to live. And then I, who could, if someone likes you, appreciates you being around, then they really can't hate your ostomy because it's the thing that you frame as it kept me alive. That's kind of like my way of thinking about it. But anyways, I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and really, if you want me to talk about anything, I am more than willing to do it. Just Facebook me, www.facebook.com slash story. Post below in the comments if you would like. Message me on um, YouTube. Or you can also Instagram me at Laura Annalise, and I will put my links below there. All right, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.